Well, good day, twos. How's she hanging? Thanks for tuning back into the wax. Let's do our little reveal here of what was what. Uh, so you guys should know. I think it was these two already. If I remember right. Um, so we're gonna rip out the. Uh, 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 little holding guy, and then just give that a snip off. What I have to do is, when I get it out, I just heat the bottom of that and uh, level it off again because it's not perfectly, perfectly good coming out of there. So this should be the flower tower. Flower tower, we'll call it. Smells pretty good. So yeah, they don't uh, generally stand kind of too well until I kind of meet, melt the bottom of them. So so that was that one. Um, you guys should know this next one too. I get this one out. Sweet. Now this one doesn't have a slit in it, so it's a little bit trickier to get out. A little extra spillage there. Pumpkin. Oh, we got some sediment in there. Interesting. Well, I may have to burn that one myself. Anyway, so that was the little pumpkin guy. As you know, we've done a few of them. And, uh... I don't know what that would be, but anyway, it's, uh, there's a bit of sediment in the bottom there. It probably needs to be filtered out again. So that was a pumpkin. That's a pretty good one. Okay, now we're into, uh... Our three mystery ones. Um... Save that big one maybe for last. I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't, eh. <laughs> So hopefully these ones don't have black crap on them. So uh, this one, we didn't make candles out of these, that's right. Just because of the shape of them, but uh, so let's unveil this one. <gasps> oh, this is the one that my wife was supposed to do. <laughs> Yarn ball. That's pretty cool. She'll like that. Doesn't smell like yarn though. <laughs> so yeah, very good. If you guessed yarn ball, you got it right. It's pretty neat. There's fairly good detail on that. Quite a bit of detail to it. So that's pretty cool. So yarn ball. I'll have to report one of those for her to unveil. I think she'll enjoy that. So Okay, so this was our next one that we just did a non-candle. Sometimes it's nice just to have a non-candle candle right so right, I've got to push them out here there we go okay so ready set push. there he is a really kind of hedgehoggy looking sheep I guess he is so that's kind of cool got a big snout on him but you wouldn't kind of think that was was that guy but she was so there we go that's pretty cool and uh now, this big one, hmm. I was even wondering what this one was, and I can't remember either, so it's going to need a, whatchamacallit there too, so this one was a candle, and uh, I did put a split downer, so she should peel open real nice. Ooh, this is a really nice one. Didn't that come out nice? Wow. Let's back up here a bit and get a bit more light to it. Wow, that come out really nice, that one. A bear and some, some trees and like another maybe a bear behind there. Some more trees and another big bear and little bear and and some more trees and maybe another little bear see where this is going eh? <laughs> and, uh, a little bear and a big bear yeah that's pretty cool it's pretty nice looking that one I like that cool that's really good okay I'm gonna have to make some more of these and um, got a little bit of speckly on the top of this one that's not too bad it makes a nice top too on it that's really cool like it okay so we're warming up there I'm gonna throw another block in here I think 
get that sediment to kind of go to the bottom so I'm not scraping off the bottom. Um, that one, and maybe I'll throw in one of these guys too, just to, to do her up. So, anyway, so we'll let that melt up, and uh, we'll come back and we'll pour some more for today. I'm gonna do a couple for well, that one again for her. So, I totally forgot to have her do that one. So, but uh, so those will be just easy, quick pours. I don't think I'll make those into candles probably ever. I just don't think lighting a sheep on fire is a nice thing, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Ball of yarn, maybe, yeah, but. I think they look better just on candles. So, uh, okay, so we'll get this guy set up again, and uh, and these two fellers. Okay, so let's piece them somewhere back together there. I don't really like this type of silicone that they use on this, so it's a little bit cocky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a little bit cocky. Just don't. Really like it that mushy, if you, if you know what I mean. It's kind of mushy and it's could deform really easily. Um, boy, oh boy, where did I stick that now? Right there, it should be right there. Yep, doesn't look right on the bottom, but it comes out right on the top. So, all right, we'll pull the wick right through. Wicked, that is wicked. We'll do a little guy here. Shorter, I guess, but anyways. Come on, you turd. Okay. So we'll get this somewhere centered here where we want it. And uh, that should be good. Okay. And these two are good to go again. Um, what else should I do? What was this great big one? I don't remember what this one was. There. Oh, yeah, the Christmas tree. I got a few of them, so I'm not going to do any more of them right now. Um, that one is the log. I've got, uh, I'll do another one. I've got two of them right now, but I'll do another one of them maybe. Because I like, uh, well, no, it wasn't that one I burned. I burned the, the leaf one, which was, no, that's the lighthouse. That's the leaf one. It's kind of crappy stuff too, but maybe I'll do, uh, I'll do another leaf one because I actually like burning those myself too. That one I got uh, well, probably about 30 odd hours out of, and it actually went for quite a long time. So we'll re-thread it. This is the better silicone. I like this stuff better. It's a lot firmer. Or I kind of think the other stuff that they were using was uh, more like window caulking <laughs> stuff like that. It's really, you can get so many different uh, grades of that stuff now, like the different strengths or firmnesses or whatever you would call that one I'm trying to explain. Okay, so cut this guy off. That's good. That one's going to take a fair bit of wax. Get that somewhat centered. We need another, probably another band around it too. Pretty good. Okay, and we'll thread thread this guy. That one has quite a few bands around them. It is so floppity doppity. Lined up nicely there. top I will. It's hard to line those ones up. I don't know. I'm not crazy on those softy kind of ones. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, we're safe. We're good. We're good. So I don't know what's struck me with, oh that thing just fired it in there. I don't know what struck me with making candles like this. The only thing I can think of is when I was in like grade school, we did a field trip where we could pick different things that we'd, we'd be interested in trying to do. And one of them I picked was uh, candle making. So yeah, I just kind of thought it was neat, but we did like the dip where you dip it in the thing and then let it cool and then dip it in and let it cool, dip it and let it cool. We did stuff like that. So, okay, that's probably enough for today. We're redoing those bears, the sheep, the wool. Um, I should maybe do another one of these because I did sell like three of those. The lady bought like three of them. She really wanted a bunch of them and I don't, I got one one left right now. So while I got the wax hot, I might as well do an R&R &R one. Same as the last one. Oh, fired it again. Did you hear that? That's funny. Nothing like wax farts. <laughs> uh, just don't get them on you. <laughs> Greasy. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do too many more candles because I'm almost out of elastics. I should go get a box of them from the office supply place, maybe. That's kind of the last one of these big fatty ones. Alrighty. Let's clip this guy off. And the bottom ends up becoming your top. It's pretty cool. All right, that's good. I gotta wait a few more minutes for this stuff to quit farting and melt down. So we're gonna be probably about 10 more minutes. So I'll go take a little break and then uh, come back and we should be good. Well, we're just melting that other block. Poor guy, doesn't know what he's in for. Takes a few minutes to melt this stuff again, but I don't turn it up super wicked hot. I don't want it red hot on the bottom, right? Because it will actually scorch this stuff. Uh-oh. So we got probably another five or so minutes to melt that guy. And that uh, will be looking good, ready to go. I could probably start now, actually. I could scoop from the back, but I'll uh, let it all melt up. It's probably getting pretty warm. That's not too bad. Hurts a little bit, but it's good for your fingers. It makes you nice and soft. Old oh, softy, eh? But yep, we'll leave that a few more minutes, and we'll be good to go. All right, I think we're good to go. I'm gonna shut her down, I guess. And uh, oh, my thing's stuck. Oh, there we go. Wowie. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Oh, it's ni much nicer when the pot's nearly full. You can get a lot more, uh, better scoop with a scooper guy here. You know, if a guy was smart, we would totally have put a piece of plastic instead of cardboard, because this actually soaks into cardboard. And uh, it would have been a little better for ripping off the drips because you can recycle them. Okay, that one I might have to top up later on. I'll do this guy. It's pretty good. And the nice leafy one.
that's not too bad. And the bare one. A fair bit of wax for that guy. That's the second full cup. Oh, bother. That's good. And we'll do another ball of wax. Ball of wax. <laughs> uh, ball of yarn. Ball of wax. I guess it will be a ball of wax when it's done, won't it? Essentially. And a sheepy guy. There we go. Give me the vibration. Oh man, I really wish you guys could smell this stuff. Oh, it is so nice. So I do have, I think there's three more that haven't been delivered yet. Molds that have to come yet. So whenever we get those, we'll do the same deal where, you know, we got to guess what they are kind of thing. That's pretty good, I guess. It still needs a bit more too, though. All right, those will probably shrink a bit. And uh, we'll need to add probably a touch more. But I think we're good. All right. Well, I guess that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll let you know whenever the other ones come in, and we'll do uh, some videos on them too. So... Uh, boy, it looks like it's melting this one. Hopefully it's not. It's a lot of little air bubbles coming out of them. Trying to get those to rise to the top. It's like tamping the cement down, eh? Some bubbles coming up out of that. Huh, well. Seems like they all got some bubbles forming. I wonder if I've got the wax a bit too hot, maybe. I might have it a bit too hot. So these might come out and have to just go back in and, uh, or whatever. Because if you do get it too hot, for some reason it does form bubbles. And I can just see, let's see if I can show you guys. If we can get through the glare, I can just see some bubbles form in there. See those bubbles? That's not so good. I don't know if the other ones, yeah, these ones are sort of doing it too. Mm, a little bit. Might have the wax just a bit too hot. Oh well, that's alright. Like I say, if we have to, we can melt them down again. They're 100% mazillion times over and over recyclable, so. That's the beauty of it. But yeah, that might be too hot. But anyways, to let you know, we'll catch you all next time. Thanks again for watching. And remember, the offer still stands. If you want to send me one of these from whatever company makes them, whatever, I'll uh, make you some candles and then send them back out to you. So that's uh, a little promotion, I guess we'll call it, that I was been doing for a wee while. So and I've done quite a few of these already and sent them out to people. There we go. 
All right, thanks again. We'll catch you all later, and happy candle making, and uh, have yourselves a good day.